We'll now study for the connection between solving systems of linear equations and the use of the reduced row echelon form of a matrix. Well, consider the system that we have here. Um, as we did before, we can represent it the same system by uh, the augmented matrix, yeah, which consists of a matrix of coefficients related to the variables. Yeah, the matrix A, and on the right hand side we write the known terms B1 to Bm, which is a vector B. Yeah, so A is the matrix of coefficients Aij, and B is the vector of constants on the right hand side of the equations. So given this matrix, this augmented matrix, we can of course determine the reduced row echelon form for the matrix AB. And this is done by using the Gauss-Jordan elimination steps. Yeah, what well, are these steps? Well, first of all, we allowed for scalar multiples of a row, scalar multiplication of a row by a non-zero scalar. Secondly, we may swap rows. And thirdly, we may add multiples of rows to other rows. So what we end up with, the matrix ref of AB is a kind of clean matrix, a clean augmented matrix for a system of linear equations that is still equivalent with the system we start with, AX is B. So the new system for the augmented matrix, for the clean augmented matrix, ref of AB, has exactly the same solutions. 